Welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, this episode is going to be uh, riddled with uh, some uh, recording breaks here and there. I need to set up um, the um, assembling line for uh, copper sheets so that I can make pipe. And I also plan on building the uh, coal uh, power plants uh, down near the sea, as I mentioned in the previous time-lapse episode. But first and foremost, um, the one thing that I definitely want is the improved melee combat so that I can get the Xeno Basher, because, well, yeah, the um, Xeno Zapper isn't really that uh, useful in terms of... Um, Keeping me uh, alive. Milestone oh. reached. R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. Another thing that is uh, I've noticed, I don't know if they've added that before or if that is in update 3, but the wildlife respawns. So you are not safe currently if you're traveling in areas where you think you have killed the wildlife it might very well be back so keep that in mind when you're uh, wandering around the landscape that you might actually uh, run into things that uh, you thought you had killed i don't know if that applies to the uh, big monsters if it does that's a bit harsh but at the same time, I guess it's a change that somewhat makes sense, because the um, things like these uh, alien carapaces and alien organs and stuff like that, it doesn't make sense that they are finite. So okay, I need to make a Xeno Zapper, and I also need five baby boar cubes. So basically what I'm saying is just be careful and be prepared for anything. There we go. And now I... Of course I have to unequip this one. And then we can make ourselves a nice new sword. There we go, and I should also equip the nuts. I think I want to have them like that. Excellent. Now I do need to bring a lot more concrete than this. I think I have enough reinforced. I need some more rods. I will probably move most of my base down to the desert area, but I intend to keep this area up here as a raw materials supply area. Like, this is where I want to produce the uh, iron rods and iron plates and things like that. Copper wire, catarium wire, or quick wire as it's also called. And um, then just bust those things down. To the uh, to the other area. Put that in there. I should have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of these. There we go. Do I need to bring screws? No. I don't think I need that baby Borg cube, so I can probably put that in a container. Can make one here. Put that in there, sort, sort. Now before we go though, um, let's go check the, um, the research options because there might be other things that I want as well. Hypertubes, that is a tier 4 technology. 
But judging by what it needs, I am pretty sure that it requires all of these things to build hypertubes. That would be fun to have hypertube going from this area to the area down there. Of course, we do want advanced steel production. But uh, probably best to have basic steel production before that. Vehicular transport would be nice uh, also to have the uh, the tractor. But before I get any of this, I'm going to have to have steel. So what I will do then is that I will pause the recording and I will go down to the uh, beach and uh, kill any uh, ugly monsters down there. And after that, I think that the next logical step is to... Uh, you know, we start the recording and uh, set up the um, the um, where is it? There it is. Coal power plants. I thought that it would be actually nice to to do that on camera because of the new tubes and stuff. That's all you had to say about that. Okay, so we can research quartz, crystals, silica. Okay, well, let's put that back in there. So, yep, that is exactly what I'll do. So, I will see you all shortly. And so, here we are in uh, my little concrete paradise. The beach under here, well... It's been mostly overbuilt. We have uh, built the entire way out to the uh, sea, so I can just place pumps down there, hopefully, and then have coal power plants on this large area here. Now, as I mentioned, things respawn, and uh, when I have been running back and forth from the... Uh, old base down here there's a coal coal no copper vein patch there and there's a copper vein patch here and both of those were accompanied by wasps and every time i went up there to uh, fetch something and came back here the wasps had reappeared the um lair thing didn't appear at this one but both the wasps and the lair appeared at this one so i'm hoping that by having built this um setup here with uh stuff actually happening that that won't happen again so i just have three uh temporary uh biomass burners here and i'm just burning regular biomass because the entire uh, purpose of this area currently is to these are normal copper nodes so it's to just melt copper ore and i'm doing that in two of these i made an array array of eight and i've prepared it so that i can fill all eight but i haven't built the belts to the uh, splitters and so forth and i've done that on both sides so it is to melt down these into copper ingots so that the copper ingots are not ingots but ingots so that these are transported over here and into this array which is producing copper sheet beautiful beautiful copper sheet and the little bug here at the uh that's surprising that they haven't fixed that visual bug yet So these are then transported into this container here. Now, since it's going so slow, I'm wondering if... Well, that doesn't make sense. Each of these produce 10 parts per minute. So it should be 60. Uh, okay. Oh, I can make this an MK2. It shouldn't be necessary to have that MK2, but... Because uh, the belt should be moving at all times. 
I've also uh, laid the foundations of this desert plain here. This desert plain is going to contain the factory. And I haven't bothered building supports currently. There are six iron nodes. I think them, they are all normal over here. Oh, snack tree. Um, let's go check. We can uh, take out those wasps as well. Uh, there we go. Yeah, normal. There should be six normal iron nodes. There are three here. And then there should be three on the other side here as well. I remember looking forever for uh, some of them. One of them is invisible, or used to be invisible, but they might have fixed that. Here's one. There's two. And I guess the third one is invisible. Um, if I do this, I know I don't have the... because it's it snaps. Okay, here it is. So there is one invisible under here. And that makes for, um, for six of those. Another snack tree. Uh, here's a normal limestone patch, but that's not something that I'm going to bother with because there are so many pure limestone patches up at the uh, other base that there is really no reason for me to bother with a normal one. So underneath this uh, glorious concrete heaven, we have some uh, mushroom thingies that I couldn't remove with my chainsaw, so I might be able to remove them with a... Um, with um, explosives. There's also a normal limestone patch down here, which I also have no plans of uh, bothering with. And then, of course, there's the water. Now, the water extractor, it can extract 120,000 liters per minute. With a default pressure of 10, that allows a 10 meter vertical rise of fluids. Now, I could just go check the map to see how high this um, um, construction of mine is. But instead of doing that, there is a rather easy way of uh, doing it so that you don't have to go out of the game. That is by building foundations. Each of these foundations is, as far as I can tell, four meters high. Which means that from the water, there is uh, one, five, nine, thirteen, seventeen, twenty-one. So I'm going to require a pump, uh, otherwise uh, the uh, water pressure will not be uh, uh, high enough. But the one pump will apply twenty pressure. That is a an odd. Um, Measurement. Uh, I would think that it would say that it applies 20 psi. Well, then again, that is air pressure. I'm not sure what water pressure is, if it is psi. But I thought psi is the universal pressure unit. But anyways, um, which allows for 20 meters of vertical rise of fluids. And um, should have plenty of the... Um, the uh, copper sheets done by now, so might as well just uh, go up there and uh, pick up some and see if we can't build a, a pipeline. Of course, I'm going to have to uh, belt in the coal as well, which is going to be an interesting exercise. Let's grab three stacks of these, maybe, no, maybe four stacks of these. I'm gonna put some back. I think I was a bit enthusiastic with that many stacks.
Mm, did it, did it. Okay, so production water extractor. Wow, that is big. That is seriously big. How am I supposed to place that down? You know what? I'm gonna build foundations. I'm sure you are all very surprised by this uh, development. I'm pretty sure the water pump can't be in a foundation. But I'm gonna build a foundation so I can build the water pumps. Jeez, that is big. I'm pretty sure it's going to require power as well. Can I build that on foundations? Why on earth? Uh, or rather, why underwater? Pretty sure it's going to say encroaching on this clearance now. Yeah, so it, it cannot be built on a foundation. It must be built in the water. Anything else would have been a bit bizarre. Then again, you can build a, a miner on top of foundation, so... But okay. Um... We build a water extractor like that. Can jump over to it. Requires 20 megawatts of power. I almost said milliwatts. Which would have been slightly amusing. Okay, now with a pipe. How the heck does that work? Useful to route pipelines in a more controlled manner and over long distances. Floor is too steep. Okay. There's a farty plant here, so better be careful with that. I... I'm a bit curious about this, because this is the first time I've built pipes, and it looked... Um, it looked rather cool, actually. The, the question is, do I have to build walls down there, so that I can have pipeline supports to build a straight pipe up here, or... How does this work, I wonder? Let's see, uh, pipeline... No, it will actually... <clears throat> yeah... I... I definitely want staircases. <laughs> Have no fear, I shall not do it again, I promise. <clears throat> I'm sure everyone believes me. Yeah? Sorry. Almost did it immediately. Okay, so the pump is down there. Let's attach the pipeline. And there we run out of power. That's one pipeline coming up that requires a pump. And exactly how does the pump work? You just place it like that. Pump requires power. That's not really a huge surprise. 
doesn't say how much, but um, yeah, it requires four power. But yeah, so there is how the uh, the pipes work. Seem to manage to build that fairly straight, to my big surprise. Now, 120 liters. Each coal generator. Oh, it doesn't say. Let's pop up there and. Uh... Oh, I didn't run out of power. It's just a uh, sound like su that sounded like I ran out of power. Anyways. big question now is how to afford right I'm out of cable that is embarrassing well I don't need to run anywhere to do that I can just uh, lift up craft bench can uh, quickly handcraft some uh, cable Be sufficient now remove that again and power coal generator and I'm thinking I want to leave plenty of space on each side here so I'm gonna place them on those I am surprised at how well that fitted because I didn't expect it to fit this well. So this thing requires 50 cubic meters, no, 45 cubic meters of water per minute. I have absolutely no idea how that corresponds to um, to uh, pump that can produce where are you 120,000 liters uh, that is an interesting conundrum that is a very interesting conundrum I'm sure the calculator will uh, will assist with that, but uh, yeah. Well, I guess that means I'm off to uh, hunt some coal. So uh, I will pause the recording and uh, I will see you when I have managed to get coal over here. Hi, hi. Here I am again. I'm out of the coal uh, notes. And I've uh, prepared four coal miners. These nodes are pure, so I get 60 per minute from each of them. Which, of course, is nice, but it means I have to go out here again and upgrade the nodes. I've also picked up some pale berries while I was out here. So I've set up four of these. And now the uh, struggle for belting these back to the base has begun. Uh, also, I should put up power lines. Uh, we are quite a distance away from the um, from the base, as you can see. Uh, this is where we're at. And the space elevator is all the way over there. So I'm, I'm just going to follow the, um, the landscape that way. Um, I don't really want to go up there. Uh, there are also coal mines up there, but... And there is actually a handy lake uh, up there as well that might help with the uh, water pump. So that might still be a good location to produce power. But by the time... Well, I'm not going to make any promises, but by the time I am ready to... Um, Or rather, the time I've exploited uh, these coal veins to the fullest, hopefully, 
I will be ready to do nuclear power instead. And I've been in this area and still those darn wasps have uh, respawned. If they only gave me something of use. Uh, one thing I will do though is drop those and I'll go up there and kill the wasps so that I can get that slug. Ah, uh, wasps, they are so annoying. Hello, I'm here. There we go. I'm gonna get the carapaces and the power slug. Maybe the taking the power slug will make them stop. Yeah, one of them were, were one of those... Uh, nest things was flying for some reason no idea why but uh, that aside I will now start uh, belting these things out of here can I please pick up the pelberry thank you and also I will have to make power lines before I uh, start leaving the area so I'll just pause the recording again, and uh, you will see me again soon when I am more uh, prepared with the coal to where it's actually supposed to go. And a little, oh sorry about that, a little uh, temporary uh, respite back at the base as I need to uh, resupply. Now, I managed to find a purple power slug, so that is something that we want to research. Also, I've killed a decent amount of uh, monsters out there, and I got 11 bacon mushrooms. So, let's have a look at the mam and see if that's going to take 13 minutes. Uh, the power slug, that's down there, so we need the, uh, the yellow one first. Um, the alien organisms. That's not going to happen anytime soon. We can get the inflated pocket dimension. I think we'll get that. Uh, let's put the uh, power slugs and the food thingies in here. I don't think I need more nuts at the moment. Same with the carapaces and the alien parts. We'll put them in there as well. And for the... Um, where was that? Alien organisms. Okay, so we need five alien parts and 2,000 uh, copper wire. Copper wire should not be an issue. One, two, three, four. And I think I moved most of those research things over to the other one. Yeah, except for the bacon shroom. Let's put that in there. And now alien organism. Oh, I need the uh, parts. Go. Oh. Alien organisms, inflated pocket dimension, start research. So that'll take five minutes, but it's such a nice thing to have. I had to get back. I had to come back for um, reinforced iron plates because I'm running out of them for obvious reasons. When I'm making all of those uh, MK2 belts, I'm taking with me a sizable amount of it so that I hopefully won't run out again. As for the other things, it seems that we have enough. I could, of course, uh, stash this in. I could do so and go get some iron rods just in case since I'm using a fair amount of those as well. Also I want to uh, deposit the leaves and the, the wood in the chest over here while I'm at it. So no not that one. This one and this one and voila ready to go again. See you all soon.
And again, just a quick visit back home to uh, deal with the man. Get more inventory slots. That is always nice. Let's uh, nab. Actually, let's nab the um, this one. That'll take three minutes. So for now, I will see you again soon. And here we are. Now, let's just follow the uh, cone line back to the uh, base, and I can um, explain a few things along the way. Uh, this is two MK2 belts. As you can see, I'm uh, sticking to the uh, philosophy of having one power uh, pole per um, uh, stackable belt conveyor thingy imagine And... That means we have 240 coal coming in to the base currently. Up here uh, to our right I found a hard drive and so I have a hard drive in my inventory. Up here to the right is a field of three, I think they are normal iron ore patches might use those for uh, making steel, but I'm not entirely sure yet. They are guarded by uh, vicious doggies. To our left we have a very scenic party plant area. There's five of them there. Um, I noticed that you can't kill them with the uh, eyebrow sword, so to kill them you actually need explosives. Or at least something like that. Here I raised the uh, the level of the Caterium ore belt because I'm going to have more levels of coal belts so I raised it pretty high so that I don't have to redo that later on. Now this is just following the river and of course when we get to the point where I'm going to build the uh, main bus uh, I was worried that this might cause issues with the main bus but then i realized that i can just uh, route the main bus over that cliff there and over to there and we should be good so here is a part of the uh, coal bus that i haven't connected because i didn't want the coal to come in uh, before i was prepared for it let's connect those two that and get back up let's just leave it there we can continue to run it will come soon enough anyways and then we are arriving at the actual base uh, never mind the floating uh, foundations there I still need to do extensive work on beautification here since the coal plants are literally just floating in midair at the moment. But the coal will come up here. Follow the lane down here. I probably will remove these foundations. I don't have any use for them. And let's just jump off here. So it'll come around here. And the, f the topmost one will go in there. And I'm not sure if that elevator will work. But I hope it will. And I've set up a pipe as well. This is a um, uh, junction. I will have another pump maybe coming up and going into this junction. I don't know if a pipe has... Okay, up to 300 cubic meters. 300 cubic meter liters. The, um, okay, so then I might have a a pipe going beside it. As you can see, I've set off quite a bit of uh, space for this because I have no idea how many power plants that one um, fluid extractor, a water pump as I like to call it, 
is able to uh, pump up here. And I don't know how much the power plant uses, so... In terms of the pump being able to pump 120,000, as I said earlier, uh, it would have been more helpful if the extractor said, yes, I am able to pump up X cubic meters uh, of water, or cubic meter liters of water, if you want. Especially for uh, people like me, who are not very fond of... Uh, uh, doing calculations like that manually. Um, but if one of these consumes 45 and the pipe is able to transport 300, that should mean that the... Um, 6.66. So, I guess 6. Because if I take... 300 uh, times uh, 50, I get 6. So one pipe would be sufficient for 6 coal generators. The question is, is it sufficient for... Uh, is the pub sufficient for supplying 6 coal generators? I have absolutely no idea. Now, while we wait, I should probably consider putting up some power poles here. Because we need the power pole for the pump as well. I believe I put it at that angle. So there we go. Fluid extractor and the... Pressure pump. I'm not going to be pedantic about the fact that the uh, power pole or power line is crossing there, and it actually doesn't look that bad either. Now, while we wait, I can also put down more Colgan generators. Ah, now I need uh, rotors. So will you transport coal down there? Yes, you will. Excellent. Now, of course, I don't think this thing will start until it actually has um, water. Which means that we need some... Do I have any bio... I do. If we just click quickly build a biomass burner... And we connect that to the power line... Let's see here. Is this supposed to be... It's supposed to be there. No, that won't do. It must be there. If we just connect this to that and that to that. And then we uh, put this in there. That should be enough to start the uh, water pumping. There we go. That actually looks really cool. And yay, finally, finally we have coal generators. And now this thing is self-sufficient, so we can just take this thing down again. Because, why not? 
and if we put the power line connect that to there as well and let's build a pipeline junction come on I think that should suffice to make it straight enough Boom. and then this should be I guess here and we can make the belt like that and then we make a splitter here and then we make a conveyor lift mk1 like that and a belt going in there beautiful sound now these two coal generators alone are enough to power the entire base that I have up there and the one down here so that will definitely help massively so the big question is now that we have two of these uh-huh Okay, so it produces 120 cubic meters of water per minute. So three coal generators per water extractor. Well, that's helpful to know. It isn't working perfectly. Maybe if I remove that pump and place it like there instead. Does that help? Head lift. 5.4 Okay, so now it's filling up the pipe And when the pipe is full, I assume the pump will start working? No. That's actually too far away. Now this is going to take some time to get used to. Do I need to have two pumps? I can have two pumps if you want me to. Maybe the uh, coal generators are full. I don't know. Anyways, um, now that I have those things done and we have coal uh, flowing into the base and I have built pumps, um, I'm going to look at the um, actual uh, altitude difference between the water pump and the uh, 
the stuff up here. And then I'll connect this up to the actual uh, power network so that we start getting some throughput because I, I expect this is full. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. So with that, I think that that is a good spot to end the episode. So thank you all so very much for joining me and I will see you all next time.